Hi, today we're going to show how to do a quick oil and filter change on a Mini, Mark II Mini. So we're just talking about a simple service here, so change of the air filter, change of the oil filter, change of the oil, and changing the pollen or cabin filter, which is accessed from inside the car. So obviously there's a few more things that should be checked on a proper service, and that's to check the brakes, other fluid levels, general condition of the car, but here we're just talking about a very simple oil and filter service. I'm going to start off with the air filter which is in here uh, so it's easier if you disconnect the inlet tract from the filter box just by undoing this little jubilee clip here then this will just pull off like so and then we have some star t25 type end screws so you need a screwdriver bit like this one which has a star end and it's called a T25 size, so undo all these. So one, two, three, four of those. And with those undone, it just lifts up like so, and pull off the back if you want. Take the filter out and change it. So it's dead easy. And then to put it back on again, uh, there's clips, these clips, these clips at the back go into these slots. So put them in the roughly the right position, tilt it down like so, make sure that they are actually engaged, give it a bit of a wiggle so that the filter fits in the box correctly, and then do up the screws and refit the pipe. That's the air filter done. So next on to changing the oil, draining the oil out, which is best done with the engine warmed up for at least 10 minutes or so. The oil will drain out quicker then and carry uh, all of the gunk in the oil down into your pots so obviously you need something to collect the uh, oil in and uh, jack up the car put it on axle stands or put it on ramps so what do we need obviously some oil Halfords are doing a special offer at the moment 15 pounds for four liters of the correct spec oil uh, the spec being for the mini the bmw uh, where is it bmw ll long life dash 04 um, so it's a good price, oil filter, and we need a little either hex key or something like this, an 8mm to 10mm adapter and use with a wrench because we need to get the hex key into the sump plug, which is underneath, just started undoing it, that's why it's a bit oily, that goes into there, run the car for 5 minutes, let it stand under the sump plug, something to catch the oil. Some axle stands is uh, useful, or a ramp for driving the car up onto. Under the sump plug, let it drain out. So leave it to drain for as long as you can. And next we need an 8mm socket to undo the bolt on the expansion tank. With the coolant water. Because you just need to move that out of the way a little bit in order to get to the oil filter. Which is that down there, that's the top of it. So just lift it off its clips and pull it out of the way like so. Oh, interesting, you had a little bit of a leak there from the bottom of the tank, which is going to need fixing. So here's our better view of the oil filter cap, so we need to get a socket around that to undo it. And I think we'll try and get some rags around the bottom as well to catch any oil leaks. And there we go with the socket on, it's a 27mm socket, get a wrench on it. And it's nice and easy. And then we'll pull it off in a minute. And there we go. Here's your oil filter. A bit of a ridiculous design having it upside down because you get oil everywhere. And there we go. So then we pop our new filter in, pull off the old uh, rubber o ring seal from the old canister. And we need to put on a new rubber seal, which should come with your filter. There it is rubber ring in place, make sure it's got oil spread over the uh, rubber o-ring, hold the filter in place while screwing back into the engine block. Make sure you don't cross thread, do it by hand to start with, make sure it feels about right. And then put a socket back on it and then tighten it up to 18 pound foot or 25 in newton meters. And then fill it with oil, so standard capacity for the petrol engines, 4.25 litres. 
how do we change the cabin filter, the pollen filter in a Mini, quite easy. All you need is obviously a new filter. And I'll try and put a link in the video description for where you buy this from. A little hex key tool, like so. And maybe a flat face screwdriver. Underneath the passenger footwell, uh, we can see here, there's a little panel. And uh, these screws here, these are partially undone already. One here, one here, I use the hex key to undo the screws, so just poke it in the head, undo those, get the rest of it with the finger, and then it's got these little flappy clips here, which is quite difficult to do with your finger, and I think what we need to do is then get the flat bladed screwdriver in, just lift that lip over the end, like so, same with this one, and then that flap falls down. Here is the pollen filter. Grab this end, pull it out, like so. Here's the new one. And I think these come with or without an activated carbon as part of the filter. Uh, I think this old one had carbon in it. As you can see, it's a darker color. It doesn't matter too much. I'm not too fussy about it. Uh, probably these are a bit cheaper. Um, so you can see this one has a little arrow on it to show which way the air should flow. Uh, you can tell from the old one which way the air flows because one side is fairly clean the other side has got lots of bits in it and came out this way around like that in which case the air is then flowing that way where my fingers pointing across the filter so if we want this one to be the same then we put it in this way up so with the arrow pointing to the right. And we just end it round, push it up, push it up that slot, making sure that it slides in between the grooves. So that is the new filter fitted in. Uh, actually not very pleased with that. Obviously uh, being an aftermarket filter, doesn't go in as well as the genuine ones and uh, as a result it's crunched up in a few places despite a lot of effort trying to straighten it out uh, you have to make sure that it goes right to the end as well at the top because uh, obviously you don't want to have any air gaps similarly the bottom but because it's crunched up got a bit of a bypass sort of air gap here so the air can bypass straight past the filter comes through here so it makes the waste a bit of a waste of time having a filter so I'm not going to use that one I'm pulling that out see how poorly it fits and I'm going to instead go for a genuine mini one because uh, these sort are actually uh, fitting a lot better and in fact the old one wasn't too bad anyhow so I just hoovered out all of this stuff in it and I'm just going to refit it because it's actually not too mucky. So we will refit that one and you'll hopefully see that it fits a lot better. It certainly bends a lot easier, which means that it doesn't crunch up as much, or at all in fact, when you're putting it in. That slots in nicely. And just straighten out these end bits, make sure we get a good seal. And you can see it's not crunched at all. Put your hand up right to the top and make sure there's no gap at the top and then we'll shut the door. And then you just got to get screws in and that's how to change your pollen filter. Right, finally we want to reset the service lights and if we're doing a simple oil and filter change we want to reset the one for oil changes. Uh, I've already reset this previously but I'll show you the steps. So key in the slot, push forward. Um, press the start button without having your foot on the clutch so that all the lights come on like so and after the initial display press and hold the right hand instrument cluster button it will go into then the service menu like so then press the button on the end of this stalk here so here on the end to cycle through the different service lights all the different ones for brakes, MOT checks, brake fluid change and so on. This is the one for oil, so to go into that menu, press and hold what's called the BC button on the end of the stalk, 
like so. It comes up with a reset prompt. So because it's already been reset, it's showing a tick, but to actually do the resetting, let's just go into that again, press and hold, end of the stalk, release, and then press and hold again. That will then do the resetting, a little clock will go around and it'll do resetting. Uh, so basically those are the steps to reset your service light. Uh, you can cycle through the other service indicators for brakes and so on, and similarly select those by pressing and holding the end of the stalk and pressing and holding again to reset. So that concludes a simple service on your Mini. Thanks for watching. Bye.